they meet this guy, you know, they don't know shit about him. And from watching TV, you know, you have sex with him so fast, that's a program coming from TV to row. And so you think this guy cares about you. Yeah. So you think this guy he cares about you. Um, but he actually does it. So, well, just let me get to what she told him. Okay, so she told him, <clears throat> you know, I had a one. She just told him <clears throat> all of a whole lot of sh shit of my world. And he didn't want me there, so he... So she told him that if he... He told her if she didn't get me out of her house, that he was going to go to DCF. It's called DCF where she is at. Or where she was at. And let them know that she had a fugitive in her home and they would come and take all her children. And she had just had a baby by him. The baby probably wasn't even two weeks old yet. And that uh, he was going to get his baby from her. Okay, so he left and she came to tell me that. I said, well, how would he know that I have a want? And she told me, she told him. I'm like, why would you tell this guy? He doesn't know me. I don't know him. Why would you tell him my business like that? And she said, uh, whatever, whatever, you know, because they're going to give you some dumbass excuse because they're dumb. And uh, so, you know, I didn't want her to lose her children behind me. You know, I lost all of mine. I know how it feels. So it was actually nowhere I could go. It's like no one wanted me. Shit, Florida did. Florida had a one for me. I guess they just was not done with me. Trying to rinse my motherfucking brain, erase it. So, I had her. Well, anyway, the whole thing in the nutshell is, when I I had her to take me to to the jailhouse, and um, okay, so now I'm in jail and I'm waiting for Florida to come and get me. And uh, I began to write her, you know, and she didn't write back. So I thought maybe I had the wrong address. And then there was a guy there. He helps, you know, people out. Not a lawyer, but he still helps you out. And so I asked him to call her and to, um, you know, get her, real, her, her address so I will have it. And so she 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 he called her and he got back to me and told me that uh gave me her address and i took her address and uh i got the address i had and it was her address so i was like damn you know if in a sense of way it really felt like i had been uh buried alive so uh it took Florida over 30 days to come and get me. They said they would let me go the next day. <laughs> Shit, Florida came to get me. I would have been out of that bitch. And so uh, maybe three weeks went by. And I got a letter from her. And she told me he had left. She was no longer with him. See, that's your handler. That is your damn handler. And um, he... Um, she told me she came to pick my things up. I had some things that I wanted her to pick up. She told me she had received all my letters, but yes, she didn't write me back until he left. Once he left, she came from under his spell, you see? And then when he left, uh, she had no one. She, you know, it was a family that she met um, when I first got there. She had to move, they were her neighbors. So she did help them to, you know, every now and then to go to, you know, to have company. But she couldn't find a job. And there was not nothing else there for her. So she decided that she was going to move back home with her family. And uh, so, yeah, I went to jail. And uh, Florida had me, held me for 10 months. For five months, I didn't even see a lawyer a judge, a court, none of that shit. 
But I was never accused of anything. They just held me for 10 months. You don't have to accuse me of anything. Just hold my ass for 10 months. Uh, and then they threw me out. However, I, that's a different story. And I probably told about that in these archives. So I decided to go home to my family. And when I get to my family, she lives next door. And so uh, we talked about it and everything. And um, uh, a few years after that, she got with another handler. I, I, this girl been knowing her for a long time. When she first got pregnant, she was 16. Even the young boy that she got pregnant by was her handler. See, she was my babysitter. And she decided she was going to go and live with this boy and his mom. She was only 16. His mom let her stay there, no questions asked. Just let her stay there. I don't know how people do that, but she did. And um, see, so he got her from being my babysitter and from getting paid. And uh, so the night she decided she did not want to be my babysitter, <laughs> she didn't tell me in time enough, I had to leave my children at home just for a few minutes. I lived in Warden. I got in my car. I went to Kendleton. I picked up my baby son. I picked up his sperm donor. He said, sure, he'll keep the children for me. I, and uh, he took me to work. Then he took the car back to my house. The next morning, it's like it was a fucking setup. The next morning, CPS was at my door. They had already went to the school and talked to my children. So they already knew that, uh, I call them dead men walking now. So they already knew that dead men walking did stay there with them at night. And so uh, she still came to talk to me. And I told her that and she said, yes, well, I already talked to your children and they said the same thing. One thing I can say about Texas, I can say um, I've never been targeted in Texas. Uh, two people tried to target me. Uh, one is a mother, one is a daughter, and these are two different situations. Uh, with the mother, you know, uh, I took her ass to court, and I won the case. So she wasn't able to target me. I didn't know she was targeting me. I didn't know that was going on at the time. I just thought she was trying to get over on me. And I took her to court, and I won my case. And then her daughter... Um, uh, years later, I went to apply for food stamps. And uh, her daughter seemed to want to play a game with me with these food stamps. So I just said, forget it. Uh, I need your supervisor's phone number. So I called the supervisor's phone number, and the supervisor wouldn't answer the phone. That's okay. I called someone else, and I, got, I had her name. I got her supervisor. And when I talked to her supervisor, I said... Uh, is it possible I can speak to your supervisor? I didn't say who I was, didn't say why. And the guy, he asked me why, and I told him why. The next thing I know, uh, he scheduled an appointment for me, and he was there, and he was there with her, and these are melanated people. He was there with her, and um, she got fired, and man, I got like four or five thousand dollars worth of food stamps, because this is how long she was playing a game with me so uh you know females man when they get a man they're fucked up they just become fucked up if um they don't have a man you see them all day every day damn near the minute they get a man well you know you won't see them as much but they act like you know they don't need your company anymore. They don't need you. Uh, they act like they, um, you know, they're sad, you know. They feel like they've met the better half, and they don't need anyone outside the better half. And when you are a female like that, this is how you get controllers. You get control freaks. That's what they used to call them, control freaks. But now you know they're handlers. This is how you get them. Once your handler, you can fuck your life up. I've seen so many sisters go through that shit. You get your life fucked up, and then um, they will uh, leave your ass. After your life is in shambles. It wasn't like that before you met them. Now you want to call my phone. 
because now you need my help but you know I did help them because uh, I'm a female I have four daughters and man I didn't want these things to happen to my daughters so I did you know help them out uh, but today I changed I'm not like that anymore uh, I can meet someone and you know and we're friends we can talk on the phone and the next thing I know I, I don't hear from them for months at a time you know I've called them and uh, left messages I've texted you know just to see how they're doing you know they won't even text back to let me know that they're not alive that they are still alive until they have no one else to keep them company then they call me and uh, I just now today you can take a phone your phone and you can just decline it you know and that's what I do I look I see the number I push decline some people I meet you know we're okay but they want to be pop-ups these are people I meet maybe from conference calls or maybe over the internet you know it's just someone to talk to because I am an asset one that is so very much isolated that's why I talk on my phone <laughs> and that's why I do the videos I I don't know if it's true I just think that like I said I think doesn't mean it's real that other assets I'm talking about true assets not those so-called targeted individuals and I feel like the true assets they also do videos because there's really no one for them to talk to about all the bullshit that they're going through so yeah so um i did just want to say that about that individual where all her men every man she had was a handler and uh there's this other person too her baby daddy oh wow she uh, she lost her, I want to say Ima, from um, this man, you know, and uh, Ima doesn't speak to her anymore. She doesn't speak to her Ima anymore, and her Ima used to be her, her best friend until this guy came along. Now he's gone, excuse me, so, and she has a baby by him. And uh, now she has another guy, but I don't know much about the other guy because once she did her email like that, I, I I thought of all the things she did to me, and I said no. You know, if you disrespect your email, you disrespect me too. So I don't deal with her anymore. But a lot of these sisters need to wake up. Today is not the day to be running around trusting these brothers because they're Scientology too. And then they become your handler and you don't even know they're your handler. Well, well, that's enough of this one. I found, I found um, some codes with uh, me and Scientology. I also found some codes with me and David. Miss Beta Bitch Caveman Cabbage. So that's really what they want to talk about. And uh, in the meantime, you melanated females, please watch your brain. Don't give your mind and your body to these guys who actually think that you actually think care about you. Especially if you find out they have another female one they live with just leave them alone because they could be sent to you to fuck your life up because all the females i know that's going through that except one but she put blood in uh the man's um she put blood in his uh his food and that's how she has him and she still has him today I know another female that did that too. She did that to all the men she had, but she was their handlers. <laughs> she sent a couple to jail because she was handled them so well, they went to sell dope for her. And they went to jail. <laughs> well, you just never know who's who these days. Sitoka, let him out.